Hi, in this video I would like to talk a little bit about one important topic in mechanical engineering design, which is material selection. In mechanical engineering design, we have a lot of options to choose our materials from a plastics up to metals or maybe woods, which have a variety of uh, mechanical properties such as the density and um, the modulus of elasticity and even the cost and in this video I would like to talk deeper about using a specific diagram to select those materials but first we must consider the design criteria that we must consider during the mechanical engineering design which are cost, weight, strength, stiffness, and so on. You can check it from this slide. And you can always back to this list and make the checklist whether your material is uh, sufficient for this uh, criteria. And the, the criteria itself is flexible. I mean, you can prioritize one criteria over its other based on your own requirement or your specification. Then, to quantify our uh, selection process, we often use the metrics known as the performance metrics, which are the multiplication of the functional function. I mean, the, the F1 is the function of the function. I mean, you know what I mean, right? Then the geometry parameter function, which uh, related to the dimension, and the last one is the material properties, which we will discuss deeper in this uh, topic. And the material properties can be consist of the uh, density, modulus, elasticity, and so on and so forth. Let's make a simple uh, case study here. Let's say we want to design a bench. We have a uh, constraint um, size, which is the length of the bench, let's say one meter. Then we want to uh, design it with the load of human sitting on it, like a 100 kilogram. And let's construct our equation here by first make the governing equation Let's say we want to minimize the deflection or we want to minimize the uh, mass of the bench material to reduce the cost, let's say. So we use this governing equation which is y equal to fl uh, to the power of 3 divided by the 48 ei. Uh, which is, you can, uh, you know, like... Uh, check these equations from the discussion of structural analysis but this is the deflection related to the force and the material properties here is the modulus of elasticity and the e here is the moment inertia of area which is the function of the ship then we can derive the stiffness of the bench using this F is equal to K times Y, the hook law, and we can rearrange these, and we can also uh, calculate the mass of the bench, which we want to uh, optimize. M is equal to the density, which is again the material properties, times the shape of this bench. Then we can plug in this mass to the uh, governing equation so we get these equations and here k over 4 is the functionality of the bench which is the stiffness so if this will be f1 then the l to the power of 4 divided by h square is the function of shape which is the f2 and the last one is rho over modulus of elasticity is the function of uh, material properties which is f3 here we get the f3 to optimize our design so how to optimize our material selection uh, in this case we, 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 we want to minimize the mass of the 
bench. So we want to minimize the F3, which is the mass. Right. Mass here is um, proportionally proportionally linear with the row over E. So if we want to minimize the mass, we must minimize the F3. To maximize or to minimize the F3, we should maximize the uh, inverse of this F3, which is E over rho. And here we go. After we get this equation, we can plot it in our tool, or known as the HP plot. You can find it the link on the description of this video. And I will just go to the website here. And here we can get some inputs using this uh, x-axis, let's say, for the density. And the y-axis, I want to choose the modulus young or e. We already uh, defined our, in our governing equation. We can plot it, but it seems not correct because the scale is linear. So it is easier to use a logarithmic to screen easier between the material selection. Here we have a bunch of materials from the foams to the glasses, metal, rubber, and yeah. But we will plug our equation here, the E equal to M, which is, we don't know. We want to maximize it, the M times the rho. So this is the y function of x. Here we input it. The, the, the m we don't know yet. We want to maximize it. Let's say plug it 1 times x or the density because the x is in the uh, density is in the x axis. Here we go. We get the uh, line. If we want to maximize this, we can simply move it or increase the value of m. Let's say we will have like a 2 and we will keep screening up until we get our desired material here. Let's say 10 and here we go. We can uh, get some uh, screened material like woods, ceramics, composite, metals and we keep going until yeah until we get some uh a narrow selection of uh, materials but we can also add our filter here by going back to our governing equation let's say we want to have the bench with the dimension of b equal to 100 and the thickness of the material is 20 millimeter let's say we can plug it back to the equations and then we get the modulus of elasticity is about 5 gigapascal. Then we can also apply the equation or the limit here. The modulus of elasticity is uh, y-axis. So we can set the y minimum or modulus minimum is 5 gigapascal. So here we go. We can narrow down our uh, uh, filter. So we can always select everything above this region. And we can keep moving as long as it is all it is still in above this region, we can still get this selection. And here we go. We maybe get some uh, Yeah, we can get the selection here about the, we can select some materials, materials above these regions, which are woods, then composites. Also, we have here ceramics. Of course, we will not build ceramic bench. Then metals, we have a little bit here, metals, and porous ceramics. Of course, we will not make the bench from porous ceramics. But here we have some uh, selections of uh, 
woods which narrow our uh, selection between these selections and yep we can go back to our checklist in our first slide we can we get the weight we get the stiffness and aesthetic yeah maybe we get the aesthetic for the wood grain something like that then manufacturability let's say if we select the uh, ceramics and maybe we don't get the manufacturability for composite also yeah maybe we can get that maybe that but the wood is better and um, then we can also select other criteria like the cost of our strength and we should go back to our governing of equation let's say we can use the m times y over i to calculate the stress then we can calculate based on our this uh, you know like uh, this condition then we get the strength is about 36 megapascal so the material strength must be about 36 so let's change our uh, y-axis to the strength let's say the ultimate strength because we have uh, brittle material like wood and we can just delete this filter and the strength must be above 36 megapascal oops we should make it logarithmic and here we go we still get our selection here for wood and metals and any other yes so we get our strength here you can go on with other lists like the cost and yeah like the specific cost and so on you can go on with your own criteria your own constraint and anything like that by using this filter and using this filter you can also change the material properties let's say you are not um, you know you have your own data for woods let's say woods have much more a range you can change the density or the young modulus with this is the minimum and the maximum and if you have your own material you can use add material feature to add materials let's say uh, x wood let's say if you have something uh, you know if you have the specific material so you can input your own uh, properties here let's say it's just like a example let me go back to the Young's modulus here we go you have your own material which is uh, you know like a bit random but you can always delete it or remove it if you don't need that anymore okay that is for this video you can try this um, tool i will give the link in the description below thank you for watching